Today, I'll tell you the truth about Fram Full Synthetic Engine Oil. Can it destroy your engine? Is it even worth it at such a low cost? And who even makes the stuff? Well, we need to answer all these questions. But first, let's start at a few myths. I've been hearing people ask, does Fram engine oil come in an orange can? No, it doesn't. And I know this is just for humor, but people are associating low quality with the low quality engine oil filters being made by Fram. And we know all about it, the orange Fram cans of death. Now, if we're being totally honest, the ultra synthetic Frams, yes, I've come into some quality issues if you saw the videos where I cut open the filters. However, I will say that overall, they make good quality in those type of filters, the premium brands. But you do run into quality problems in a manufacturing facility. We all know this. I've shown it on many oil filters. Unfortunately, some people think that's a hit against Fram, but I'm just being honest here. I've worked in plenty of factories, so that doesn't mean that they make bad quality. Now, another thing going around is Fram doesn't even make this engine oil. You probably saw the K&N oil that's came out. And a lot of people are saying Warren Distribution makes Supertech, Warren Distribution. And you know, I'm not trying to refute any of this, the Amazon Basics made by Warren or nothing of that nature. But one thing to know is even if the same company does make it, as you know, that doesn't mean it's blended the same. Now, is all AMS oil or Mobile One oils the same? We know that's absolutely not true. So there's many different blending facilities. So yes, there are only a few refineries in the United States. So it does leave limited options. However, this is where the blending facilities come into play. As for the Fram, what about the low cost? Well, we can take a look into the high mileage filter. How much is it? $4.79. $4.79. Now, $3.99? Are you out of your mind? I had to say that one. $3.99 for their lowest quality uh, conventional motor oil, which is a pretty competitive price. So, pretty well off. Now, $6.49 for their full synthetic blend. So, I'm not really going to say, you know, I don't want to get into the formula because we don't really have a lot of information on the formula itself and if it's 100% synthetic and or it's full synthetic and all this. Yes, it says it's full synthetic, but I'm not going to say it's mostly conventional or anything like that. You'll just have to find out later on because we are going to test this oil. As you can see, we're going to add this engine oil to freezing temperatures. Then we'll come back and perform a cold pour test and some other issues that we're going to take care of to resolve to find out how great the quality really is. So we'll do that one in another video, but I'm going to say something else. The quality of Fram engine oil, and anyone that knows me or has watched my videos will tell you, I do not just say anything good for any company. That's just the way I am. A lot of people are actually offended by it. They want you to say just whatever they want you to say about a company. And just because something happens bad at a manufacturing facility one time or one lot, check the lot and see, you know, um, so many products made out of the facility bad. Yes, it happens everywhere. But how often does it happen? How extreme was the incident? Those are all good questions we need to ask for sure. And hopefully that we have come together to realize that after performing a lot of research, from what I've found so far, a company called Amali. If I'm not incorrect, you'll have to find this out to verify for sure. But this is who I'm told is the one manufacturing the motor oil for Fram. This is where it's coming from. Now, what are they doing after the fact? Blending it or, um, or are they doing the entire process? I'm not really sure of that. 
They don't give a lot of details. I will try to go into a deeper dive on this subject because I do like to know where these motor rules are coming from. I think it's really important. Now, you also have a lot of people saying, well, I use the lowest priced oil forever and never had any problems. Just change your motor oil on time. I'm not saying that's incorrect. Actually, I believe just that. Yeah, change your motor oil on time. You don't have to have the most expensive brand oil. Pretty obvious, right? Well, not exactly. This is where it comes back to the problem that I was speaking of before. No, not everyone's in the same circumstances and not all oils are created equal. So just find a reputable brand that, as I say, um, is trusted for their APIs, um, their, all their licensings, all their certifications. Make sure all that is up to date. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Usually a company going with Walmart, per se, would be doing all that. However, you know, we do know they sell the Fram cans of death. And just like Advanced Auto Parts, I noticed that Yes, they stopped selling the filters at O'Reilly's, but they sell them at Advance. That's no knock on Advance. Fram does make some good filters. And also, Fram makes the engine oil that apparently it would seem that Advanced Auto Parts is leading the way selling this stuff. They're the distributor. I mean, that's what it says on the back of the bottle even. Nothing against Amsoil there, or Amsoil. Nothing against advanced auto parts because they're drawing up a big contract with Fram I'm sure just like Fram did with Walmart this is smart on all parts of both sides can't really blame them there now back to the quality the company Amali has been in business for over a hundred years all across the world D distributing products making these great motor oils so we don't have any information that says this is bad. And CarQuest is said to be made by this exact company, the CarQuest Motor Oil. Now, if you've had any problems with it, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of great things about it. But to get into further detail, what I'm really interested in is the testing. So I can't wait for this. If anyone out there works for one of these companies, Please jump in here and tell us what you know. You don't even have to give us your name. Is this like secret service or something that people are working for these oil companies? Because apparently nobody's allowed to say anything from what I've understood. You know, um, now as far as the not trying to learn any uh, secrets, the oil's made or how it's made or anything like that. Ridiculous stuff. We're just wanting to know who makes this stuff. Because this is where we run into problems. I know the companies believe they're doing good by not doing that. And they're selling their brand name. It's all understandable. But for people that are real big enthusiasts, we do like to know where it comes from. And the fact that you even just put it on there, show your name where it's being made. You know, that doesn't mean that it Fram engine oil, just because it's made by Warren, isn't using a different blended formula that's even possibly higher quality. So, please know this. I mean, you always have a few people that are going to say something no matter what. And that's probably why. Just like we don't get a lot of the ingredients in uh, gasolines, things of that nature. So, guys, as I said, any information that you can give on any of these subjects, who makes what oil, the refinery, um, not just the uh, people that blend the oil, Please give us any information that you can. Thanks for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.